Everyone relax because Disney is 100% not in talks to buy DC Comics. It's all a rumor and you're being silly. Oh yeah, the best geek news, uh-huh, dig it. Hello, hello, over the weekend a big rumor popped up online that Disney was in talks to acquire DC Comics from AT&T, possibly merging DC Comics with Marvel to make one giant mega ultimate comic book universe. It's beautiful. Well, it ain't happening, and all I'm gonna say is the rumor has since been debunked, and the general consensus is that there are no credible sources to indicate Disney is legitimately looking to purchase DC Comics. But you can imagine what it'd be like if they did, right? Huh? Continuing on with other things that aren't happening, Sony confirmed today that there are no plans in the works to make a God of War movie or TV show, and that for now, they are interested in keeping Kratos as a video game character only. Though hear me out. R-rated animated film, anyone? That's just a no-brainer to me. Make the deal. Today we finally got the first trailer for The Eternals, and after two whole minutes, I can comfortably say I still have no clue what's going on. Full disclosure, I didn't know much about the Guardians of the Galaxy going into that movie either, but I knew from the first trailer that I love them. I do not share that same sort of enthusiasm from this trailer. Mostly I'm just excited now to see a reunion between Jon Snow and Rob Stark. Here's what we do know. They are gods, they watch over us, and they never interfere until now. Till five years after Thanos wiped away half the universe, now you're gonna get involved? What world ending event could possibly be happening in this movie that's a bigger threat than Thanos? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Let me know in the comments if you're jazzed for the Eternals after that trailer. Over the weekend, the Daily Beast posted photos of Taika Waititi canoodling with both Rita Ora and Tessa Thompson at the same time, confirming once again that Taika is the coolest director that's ever lived. Teach me. It was announced today that Timothy Chalamet has been cast as Willy Wonka in an unnecessary origin film titled Wonka, where I assume we'll also see the origins of Oompa Loompas and how they became the property of one Mr. Wonka. Also, now that we know the dangers of sugar consumption, if they don't treat Wonka like a straight up villain who's just out to ruin the teeth of children, I'm not feeling it. Good day, sir! A Quiet Place 2 hits theaters this week and over a year ago I got a chance to sit down with the cast and crew to talk about it and one by one I'll show you these interviews and up first today is my talk with John Krasinski so check it out. Sick jacket. Oh thanks man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Your sick hair. Well, Your hair's great. Now I'm thinking I should have rocked a tuxedo jacket because that's <laughs> the move. Yeah I tried to dress it down with the shirt. Um, so this movie does a lot of world building so I was curious after watching the second one do you plan to develop a series with A Quiet Place, or do you want to keep it contained to films? Oh, oh wow, you mean like beyond the movies? Yeah. Jeez, uh, we should talk, because you just blew my brain out. Um, I, it's one of those things where when I was writing the first one, I had no clue that I would be able to do a second one or thought of a second one, mm -hmm. but I had these you know, these questions and these ideas and theories, like who's on the other side of the fires when I lit the fires in the first one, and I was really excited about that, and I remember feeling really excited when the response to the movie was, who's on the other end of the fires? How else are people living? So that kind of spurred on why I decided to even do a second one. You know I had to ask about Fantastic Four too. I could not bring that up. It's not, a, I know you can't answer if you're gonna play Mr. Fantastic, but you have to play Mr. Fantastic, <laughs> right? I mean, it's, oh my God, that's you the have best, to. Like, that's the best question and answer ever. They're you as Reed now in the comic books, which is like Sam Jackson 101. What? Yeah, you look like Reed Richards. Do I? Yeah, so. Let me get that on poster size or? <laughs> so at this point, like, you just have to be. I would Reed love Richards. to do it. Yeah. I, I, I think to be a part of the Marvel world would be amazing anyway. And the fact that people would even consider me for that level of a part mm -hmm. um, would be amazing. I genuinely have had no conversations or don't know anything that's happening with that. I'm 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 waiting Kevin's announcements of what the hell's happening with that as much as you are. Would you have any interest in directing a Marvel film if the opportunity presented itself? Wow, that's a cool idea. I mean, it's it's so interesting because Marvel, I'm such a huge fan of Marvel. It's I, I think they do their own, I mean, they have such a great formula. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd jump in there. I mean, in Kevin I trust. I, that, that dude is not only the most talented guy, but the nicest guy, so. Um, so yeah, whatever whatever he wants, we discuss it. Guys, he said he's down. A Quiet Place 2 is awesome. Check it out this weekend. My review and my full interview with John should be up on our YouTube page. I think it's Monday, so let's do it. If you don't know, Multiverse Monday is where Space Computer connects me to a version of myself from an alternate reality, and we just chit chat about their news. Dial them up, Space Computer. Dial.
Today I've got Chris from Earth 55. Hello, Chris. Hi. Are you at Disneyland? Uh, no, Disney World actually. And we're very happy to be here. So you're in Florida. Uh, no, no, no. Disney World is what Disney renamed Earth about 10 years ago or so when they bought the entire planet. So everything is Disney World now. And we're very happy to be here. I'm just talking to my friend. Guys, no, 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 put up the tasers. It's just my friend. Did I hear tasers? I don't, the connection's kind of bad. You're gonna listen to me right now? Get us the f out of here. You're our only hope. What did he say? Did we lose him? Did he just ask me what's my horoscope? I don't really believe in those. Bye bye now. Enjoy the show. Huh? Now follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you give a thumbs up to the video for support. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos. Dig it!